Heart disease and renal failure are both major causes of premature mortality in patients with Fabry disease. Unfortunately, this challenge is complicated further by the impact of these two morbidities on each other. Cardiac involvement is common in Fabry disease as lysosomal storage occurs within almost all cardiac tissue, leading to progressive structural and functional changes to the heart in over half of male and a third of female patients. Cardiovascular events are the cause of death in over 50% of patients with Fabry disease. Symptoms include dyspnea, heart failure, angina, chest pain and arrhythmia. These symptoms can be attributed to the accumulation of GB3, which triggers intracellular signaling pathways that lead to cardiac hypertrophy and fibrosis. Left ventricular hypertrophy is the most important manifestation of Fabry disease cardiomyopathy as it leads to progressive functional impairment. Structural changes of the myocardium caused reduced myocardial contraction and reduced velocity of myocardial relaxation. Higher hemodynamic stresses in the left side of the heart results in valvular thickening and deformation. Conduction defects and repolarization changes are present predominantly in patients with left ventricular structural abnormalities. Fabry disease also affects the kidneys as GB3 accumulates in the renal glomerulus causing progressive deterioration of renal function and ESRD. This in turn impacts on cardiovascular risk. It is often cardiovascular complications that are the cause of death in patients with chronic kidney disease. Once reduced GFR is detected, Fabry patients are likely to already have significant cardiovascular abnormalities. Understanding these complex and interlinked disease manifestations is central to improving outcomes for patients with Fabry disease.